A lot of y'all might have a goal, right? Some of y'all might, might want to make 500 a day, a thousand a week, a thousand a day, whatever the case may be, right? You might want to make 10K a month. You might want to quit your job, make full-time income, part-time income, right? You have a goal, but you do not have a plan to help you reach that goal. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Playmaker Way, Way with the Playbook, and y'all read the title, man. Trading was hard until I understood these three concepts. Now, if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. I appreciate you giving this video a chance. Make sure to hit that bell and sub button because we don't just post weekly content like this, but we also live stream and live trade every day. London session 3M EST on this very same channel. We also have a free signal and free telegram. It's the first link in the description. This is how we did last month, October. We caught a total of 157,608 pips, 125,674 strictly with the members in the advanced place signal room. Ended the month 32.5, giving us an 86% win rate. Now this is how we did last quarter. July, we went 34 wins, three losses. August, we took 45 wins, seven losses. And in September, we took 27 wins, four losses. Catching 105,389 pips July, 219,708 pips in August, and 16,634 pips in September. Giving us a total of 341,731 pips caught, 323,385 strictly with the members in the advanced play signal room. In the quarter, 106 wins, 14 losses, giving us 88% win rate. Every trade posted has the date, the time the trade was posted, my personal entry, SL, TPs, time people viewed or entered the trade, reactions, and of course those TPs getting hit. So make sure to go ahead and check that out. Now let's get straight into this video. So that brings us into number one. So if I had to start over and learn how to trade again, the first thing I would focus on and pay attention to is the charts. Because again, we make money based on what the charts are doing. So it's super important to understand what the charts are doing because if we're right we make money but if we're wrong we lose money so another thing that's going to help y'all once you understand that price isn't just randomly doing anything that you can literally understand and have explanation for every movement every direction every candlestick price makes and the direction price goes then you'll be able to predict what price is going to most likely do because again, once you understand all the possible movements price can do, then it's very easy to prepare for those possible outcomes. Now for us, it's a lot simple because price can, is a lot simpler because price can only do one of two things. It can either go up or it's going to go down. So all we have to do is figure out which way it's going to go up or down. And like I said, there's a little pattern and algorithm and script price follows to a T on a daily, weekly basis. As you can see, it cannot be a coincidence that on this day here, January 31st, I caught a sell. And then literally a week later, I caught a sell from the same exact position. It cannot be a coincidence that each time price hits my levels, we see price have a similar reaction, which is it's treating it as support or resistance. So if you guys do not understand how to read the charts, how to identify the trend, pause this video and watch this one right here. I got y'all. But the first thing you have to understand is how to read the charts, because again, a lot of the stress comes from not understanding these three concepts. Because think about it. You take a trade, you're in drawdown. You don't understand why you're in drawdown, but all you know is that you're potentially going to be at risk of losing whatever you're risking or losing whatever profit you potentially have. So the more you understand, the easier it's going to be while you're in a trade and while you're outside the trade. So that brings us into number two. You need to have a trading plan. You need to have a trading plan. Again, another reason why a lot of people struggle and one of the biggest mistakes I used to make was not having a trading plan. A lot of y'all might have a goal, right? Some of y'all might, might want to make 500 a day, a thousand a week, a thousand a day, whatever the case may be, right? You might want to make 10K a month. You might want to quit your job, make full-time income, part-time income, right? You have a goal but you do not have a plan to help you reach that goal. So that's like wanting to drive from one side of the country to another, but I've never taken this drive before. I've never been to this state or country before. I'm not gonna use a GPS. And I'm not gonna ask for instructions or directions. What is the likelihood that I make it to my destination at all? Then what is the likelihood that I make it there in a timely manner? 
And then what is the likelihood that I make it there without missing a return, an exit, without having to turn around, all that good stuff. The likelihood of that happening is very low, but the failure is high. Just like the success rate in trading is low, but the failure and quitting rate is high. It's because again, a lot of y'all have goals, but you're not taking the time to one, learn how to read the charts, and then two, understand what your game plan is going to be. So I have a bunch of videos. One's gonna pop up right now on your screen, but you need to have a daily goal. You need to have a weekly goal. You need to have a monthly goal. You need to know how many trades you're taking per day. You need to know what time you're trading. You need to know what charts you're going to be looking for. You need to know what type of setups you're going to be going for. You need to know, understand risk to war, lot size calculation. Now that might sound like a lot of stuff, but again, this isn't a get rich quick scheme. This isn't one of those things where, you know, after one week, you're just going to be out and about and you're just going to be chilling. I know this is a process, but the more you take it seriously, your results will show that a lot of y'all Y'all, y'all want to learn, but then once you know you've realized it's not fun, it's not a video game, then y'all don't feel as motivated or y'all zone out. But I'm telling you, if you lock in, you can have these similar results. I'm telling you. And that brings us into the last and final concept. And that's simple math. Now, what do I mean by simple math? Think about it. We just went over the first concept, understand how to read the charts. So now we understand what price is doing at all times. Now we understand how to read the charts and now we know the best places to look for entries and exits at. Then we went over the concept number two, which was we had to have a trading plan. So now we have a game plan to help us reach our goal. So now it's simple math because again, for those that don't know my story, I learned all this on my own. And after blowing like 30 to 40 K in literally a year from just skipping steps and making mistakes, I pulled out the rest of my money that I had left in my account and I told myself I was not going to trade on a live account or put any more money into this markets until I figured this stuff out. So the first thing I did was write down what I did not know and what I needed to figure out. The first thing was exactly what I said, the charts. The second thing, again, I needed a game plan. And the third thing was simple math. So again, this is where understand how to count pips comes into play lot size calculation and risk to reward you need to understand how to count pips you cannot there's no magic lot size let me give you a perfect example so look i have two trades here i have two trades here this one 188.27 188.12 let's just round down and say that this is a, a 15 pip stop loss so i have a 15 pip stop loss here this one same position 188.27 188 03. So let's just say this one is a well, let's just round and say this is a 25 pip stop loss. So I have a 15 pip stop loss and now I have a 25 pip stop loss. And if worst case scenario happens and stop loss gets hit on both these positions, this one and this one, and I put the same lot size in. So for example, let's say I put a standard lot size. Am I going to lose the same amount in this trade and this trade? No, I'm going to lose way more on this one, the 25 pip stop loss that I would have on the 15 pip stop loss. And if I, and that goes the same exact way. So that is so, that's, that's why it's important to understand how to count pips to calculate your lot size. Now, members of students, you already know in the group chat, I got that pinned video showing you exactly how to do that. But those that aren't members, you can click the link in the description and join, or you can click this video that just popped up on your screen. This one goes over exactly how to count pips. Now let's go over the next part of that risk to reward. So you see this one was a 15 pip stop loss. This one was a 25. So the smaller the stop loss, the greater the risk true war because we look right here this was a one to seven risk true war so that means whatever i risked i made seven times that amount so this trade if i risked a hundred bucks i would have made seven hundred dollars if i risked a thousand bucks i would have made seven thousand dollars off this one trade and this one same entry same exit but because the stop loss is a little bit wider this is a one to four risk true reward. so whatever i risked i made four times that amount so understanding these concepts is going to help you make sure that you're going for a good risk reward setup, take a full advantage of your trades and that you're risking exactly what you want to risk. Because again, a lot of y'all, just like me, are in the beginning, that is used to over leverage, not understanding 
what's the proper uh, lot size to put to risk what I'm willing to risk and what I need to risk. If y'all enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below any questions, comments, concerns you may have. Make sure to hit that first link in the description to order free signal, free telegram. If you're interested in learning how to identify and mark up these levels, interested in the signaling service or my mentorship programs, hit those links in the description. But before you make a decision, let me tell you a little bit about those details. So the advanced place signal, we trade Tokyo session exclusively with the members. We trade London session and then New York. Just like the Sunday chart analysis I drop in the free signal, I drop one every day during New York session called the New York price watch list. This is where I go over the trades we took during Tokyo session, London session, and possible sales going into New York. I don't just say we're looking for buys or looking for sales. I explain why we're looking for buys, why we're looking for sales. And then I take it a step further and go over key price points to look for entries and exits on. As you can see here, I call this signal. You see I'm walking y'all through what's going on with the trades we're in. I'm giving y'all updates to what I talked about in the New York price watch list. And then of course you see me showing y'all screenshots to visually show y'all what's going on behind the scenes or what I see on my end behind the scenes. All right, we also have exclusive live streams that we go live during New York news events at least twice a week. And just like the London session lives, if you missed the live, the recorded and posted in here so you can watch them when you get a chance. You have access to over 500 videos of daily chart analysis and weekly live streams. And in fact, you have access to even the ones last year in 2022. Then there's also the pinned messages like the account size key, the student and member group chat, and much more. Now I also have the course, of course, the course doesn't just teach you my trading strategy. It also teaches you how to read the charts because that's what I teach y'all. You all saw I had no indicators, no trend lines. It's simply just market flow and trading and entering and exiting off key price levels. Now all the stuff that I just went over, you get access to all that stuff in the course channel. So that way you not only do you have the step-by-step -step playbook of how to look and read any chart at all times, but you have ongoing chart analysis, ongoing education for life. Now I also have one-on-one -on -one sessions. One-on-one -on -one sessions also comes with access to the advanced place signal room and the student member group chat. That way you can earn while you learn, but then you also get two sessions a week that are recorded an hour long, but you also get two sessions a week that are recorded in an hour long and they're sent to you the same day. Those are yours to keep for life. So if you're interested in that, hit those links in the description. If y'all want to contact me directly, y'all can DM me on Instagram at playmaker underscore way. Also make sure to follow me on there and TikTok underscore playmaker way underscore. I post daily on both pages. And I'll see y'all next time I'm live or next time I post a video. Peace. We out.